A preliminary hearing is underway for the Fullerton officers charged with the beating death of Kelly Thomas. Will they stand trial? Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 1. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Leela Feinstein. Photos that shocked the courtroom and testimony from several witnesses opened the hearing, which will decide whether the officers will be tried on charges that include murder and involuntary manslaughter. KTLA's David Begno is in Santa Ana with the latest from the courtroom. David? Good afternoon from Santa Ana, Glenn. We heard something in court today we had not heard ever since Kelly Thomas was beaten back last July 5th, 2011. Apparently, on that night when paramedics were called, no one initially said when paramedics arrived, no one said anything about Kelly on the ground there, barely breathing and almost dead. Instead, we found out in court today, officers told paramedics about their minor, non life threatening injuries. And it was more than a minute before paramedics were told there's a man on the ground barely breathing. It was the first in what is expected to be a full day of dramatic I spent the courtroom this morning with graphic pictures of an unconscious shown in open court. This is definitely reopening wound. Maybe I have masked or set aside a little bit, so it's a really emotional day for me too. Also seen for the first time, photos from the night six Fullerton police officers confronted Kelly at a Fullerton bus station July 5th, 2011. This blood stain shows where Kelly collapsed. This was the taser used on Kelly. And this was a baton used by Officer Joe Wolf. Wolf was photographed with injuries to his elbow and his wrist. Also photographed, the two officers criminally charged in Kelly's death, Manuel Ramos and Jay Cicinelli. The police technician who took those photos took the stand this morning and said when she arrived on July 5th, Officer Ramos appeared visibly shaken, tired, sitting against a police officer leaning over holding his rib cage. He was reportedly out of breath and nervous, in disbelief about what happened, saying, quote, this was the fight of my life. I've never had anyone fight me like that before. A Fullerton fire captain testified when paramedics arrived on scene, some of the officers told him that fellow officers had lacerations and injuries. No one immediately said anything about Kelly. Within one minute, the fire captain noticed Kelly leaning up against the leg of a police officer. He was ashen colored, breathing slowly and unconscious. By the time paramedics got him into an ambulance, Kelly's heart stopped beating. CPR was performed for 18 minutes before doctors finally revived him at St. John's Hospital. All those police officers standing around, nobody saying, look at this man in the gutter, please come help him. They're worried about little band-aid scratches of themselves, not my son dying. Ron Thomas had tears in his eyes in the courtroom today. Testimony. The judge has recessed for lunch, but when we come back this afternoon, we expect the video which captured the beating from a city camera at that bus station will be shown in open court for the first time. Cameras are allowed, and we will show you that video coming up tonight on the KTLA News at 6. For now, we are live in Santa Ana. I'm David Begno, KTLA 5 News. All right, David.